What is going on guys? It's Real Talk GML here back with another Game Maker tutorial and today I am doing a redo of a series that I did not complete before and this is a, Minecraft, a 2D Minecraft series. Now I, I was that, that was made a uh, long maybe like seven eight months ago I'm not sure when the video exactly was put up but I was not fully on my game when making that so I'm coming back I'm try, I'm gonna be trying to do everything legit uh, you know the full inventory system character movement terrain generation all of the fun stuff that we have you know crafting all the fun stuff we have in Minecraft nowadays so of course I'm not making you know, full out, you know, mobs and, or I might make mobs, but I'm not making, you know, like potions or whatever you guys do in, in the Minecraft world. Uh, we're not going to be getting that far, but we will be doing, you know, just the main core mechanics for creating a Minecraft game. Um, no. Okay, so, I, I went ahead and before I started the tutorial I went ahead and made my own terrain system just you know so I can get started right away and you don't have to sit through the debugging process and all that stuff so that's what I did this is my own algorithm for a terrain generation and if you go back and look at my old tutorial this is an, a, a very very improved version of my last terrain generation alright so we're actually gonna be creating layers and stuff like that so first off I'm just gonna quickly start off and create a sprite and I'm gonna name this sprite blocks let's go ahead and make a new 32 by 32 and here I'm gonna create the the grass block here so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna quickly do something actually no that's too big let's do something like that and then maybe let's just thicken it up one more And then perhaps, you know, maybe square it out like this. Make a cool little thing here. And then let's have like a little glare on it. All right, so there's our there's our grass block. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it two more times. And here I'm going to make the dirt now. So let's go ahead and take like a little uh, dirt color here. And I'm going to make the stone. So let's get like a nice stony nice stony color here there we go so now we have the grass the dirt and the stone now I'm doing this because to be efficient with the sprites and all of that stuff so I'm not actually gonna create three sprites I'm gonna create one sprite and then uh, change the image index on which uh, block I want so we have grass dirt and stone all right do not center it and again this is 32 by 32 but do not center it uh, so I'm gonna create an object here and this is going to be called object block and it's not going to have a sprite or anything like that and that's what we're going to parent everything to so now let's create a group I'm going to call it grb blocks and just put that in there and then I'm going to create another object this is going to be object grass and in the create event I'm going to say image whoa image index equals zero image speed equals zero all right so now I'm just going to hit alt insert twice to duplicate that and this is gonna be object stone which means I just need to change I don't know why that's doing that I just need to change this to two and then here I'm gonna say object dirt and I'm gonna change this to one so there we go and also I'm gonna parent all these I forgot to do that so parent to object block all right there we go so now we have the dirt we have the blocks we have everything is golden we have it all parented to this block here so we can use that so now let's go ahead and create another group real quick I'm gonna call it control and let's create a script now the first thing to do with our our game here is create a world generation. So I'm going to name the script generate generate. And again, this is my own algorithms. There's other algorithms out there for creating uh, random terrain and things of that nature. But if you're going to follow this tutorial, I would recommend doing this because 
later on we're gonna be getting into you know creating water spawns or creating tree spawns right so all right let's go ahead and start so I'm just gonna create a variable real quick and I'm gonna name it sh and this stands for starting height so the first thing we're gonna do with this terrain generation is create a starting point at which we can start you know creating the terrain so I'm gonna say room height divided by two minus floor random uh, room height divided by three whoops all right and actually you know what no that's good uh, so here we are so what we're doing is we're creating the starting height at room height divided by two now this means that the starting point cannot be below halfway down the screen not the starting point cannot be halfway down below the screen now that's just something I wanted to have happen you can you know mess with these numbers and then it's gonna subtract a random number of room height divided by three so if we pull up our calculator here just to show you when we say 480 divided by three it's going to pick a number zero through 159 all right so it, it's gonna take the room height and then it's gonna subtract and since we're subtracting we're actually going up in the room if you know x and y coordinate vectors we're actually going up in the room so 160 there we go <clears throat> all right then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snap our starting height to a grid. So I'm going to say sh equals sh divided by 32 multiplied by 32. And this just rounds it out and uh, actually snaps it to a grid. So a 32 by 32 grid, which we want because our blocks are 32 by 32. All right. Then we're going to create another variable ah, and this is called uh, this stands for alternate height. All right. Now these are just variable names. You can make them. A different name if they if it helps you out or anything but I named it AH and that stands for alternate height and I'm gonna have that start off equaling our starting height all right and we can create two more variables dirt level stone level actually we can create one more and then we're gonna create a var L which stands for level and I I think you know what these two mean <laughs> all right so let's start with the train generation. So I'm going to create a for loop xx equals zero. xx is less than room width. xx plus equals 32. All right. So with this, let's just create a instance create xx ah object grass. All right, so if we just did that alone, we, we go ahead and press OK, and we create another object, we call it object generate. And in the create event, we just call this script generate. And let's also create a keyboard, key press letters R, and we just say room restart, just so we can kind of debug it. We go ahead and put it in our room here. And we and we run it if we just did that alone as you can see we get a random height on our blocks but they only go in a straight they're only going straight this is not very good terrain I would say so what we're gonna do to just kind of alternate those heights there is change the alternate height variable and by doing this after we create it we can say a h equals or I'm sorry h plus equals choose 32 negative 32 or 0 so what this is doing is it's saying all right our alternate height is gonna equal its alternate height plus 32 or plus negative 32 or just stay the same that's what the choose means so now if we run it we're gonna get a little bit of alternate height here so as you can see now it's kinda like a like terrain a little bit right but it's not very good terrain because you know it's just a layer of green so there we go so that's our grass layer now I only want it to be one layer we may change this later on to be a couple layers down but I think dirt would fill in at the bottom there so that's what I'm gonna do all right so there we go now we have that now let's go ahead and create the other levels now that was pretty easy right let's go ahead and create the stone level and the dirt level so I'm gonna say dirt level and actually, before we do that, we need to initialize the dirt level and the stone level variables. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say dirt level equals, I'll say room height 
minus AH divided by 32 multiplied by 32, which just snaps it to a grid. But we're saying room height minus AH because we're getting the difference of what our alternate height is now and what our room height is. Right, so if we went ahead and we said, we went on calculator here, say our alternate height was at 300, then we would say 480 minus 300. So we know we need to go 180 pixels down. Or, uh, yeah. Okay. And for the stone level, just set the stone level to equal uh, room height divided by 32, multiplied by 32. Um, right. All right, and that just snaps that to a grid as well. So there we go. So now let's go ahead and create another for loop. So four, and we're gonna make this y variable. So y, y, and we're gonna equal it to start off at our alternate height. All right, and then we're gonna say y, y is less than dirt level because we've already calculated that. And y, y plus equals 32. All right, so now inside here, we're gonna just say instance create at xx, yy plus 32, and then our object will be object dirt. And right here, we're gonna set L to equal yy. Just, this is for the stone, just so we know when the dirt stops. All right, so let's go ahead and run it. And as you can see, whoa, now we have some dirt spawning. How cool is that? So yeah, it, it's totally random at which point um, it spawns and then it goes down and stops at a certain point. So obviously right here is where we're gonna fill in the stone. All right, let's do the stone now. So we're gonna say stone level. We're gonna create another for loop, yy equals, and instead of equals zero or ah or something, we're gonna equal to l, like we said here. So l, and then we're gonna say, if yy is less than stone level, of course, and then yy plus equals 32. So at first, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you the instance create uh, xx, yy plus 32, object stone. And there's a problem with this, and I'll show you what it is, but let's go ahead and run it real quick. So as you can see, it generates the stone, but what do we have here? We have stone spawning above our grass, and that's because the dirt level for this right here goes into negative because our, our level right here is less than what our... So it's basically like this. If I pull up the calculator one more time, it's basically like this. This goes to, let's say, um, well, no, that's a bad example. Okay, that's a bad example. <laughs> Let me just kind of sum it up for you right here. Basically, what's happening is our, our YY is less than our alternate height. So our L that we set this dirt level that we set starts off above the grass here because it dips in below. So our y coordinates for our for loop is less than our alternate height, right? So that's why it starts here. And if we, if we do it a couple more times, as you can see right here, this is a problem. We don't want this in the game. If you want this in the game, you want some random stone spawning on top, then you might want that. But I mean, it does get kind of out of control. Right, I mean, yeah, look at this right here. That's, that's, we don't want that. So in our generate, all we have to do is say, if yy is greater than L. All right, no, I'm sorry. What am I doing here? Y is greater than equal to, not our L, our alternate height. Because, yeah, just like I said, our y is less than our alternate height. So we're gonna go ahead and say, hey, if our y is less than our alternate height, then just don't create anything. We, we don't want anything there. Now this is where we could, could get into some water spawning, 
okay? But we'll get into that later. So now we run it and look at this. We have a perfect, I wouldn't say perfect, but we have a nice little spawn generation type thingamajig here. And it's all random and everything's super cool. Um, go ahead real quick in an object generate here. And on top here, just put randomize. Just so we get random numbers. Just do that real quick and uh, you should be good. All right, so that's basically it for this tutorial. Go leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's try for 40 likes this time. I hope we can do it. Next tutorial, we're gonna be doing just a little bit more with the generation, maybe adding that water in, but we'll see. So go leave a like, go and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.